this is becoming an area of extreme consternation for Americans in the UK, Americans across Europe and many parts of the world where they see um, uh, uh, they're very concerned about the implications of the strength of the US dollar for their long-term financial planning outcomes. We are constantly thinking through currency issues in our portfolio because we are very sensitive to the fact that our clients are facing, in the case of Americans in the UK, British pound liabilities, right? They're, they have to pay for their kids' school, they have to pay for their own retirement, they have to pay their rent, they have to pay their expenses in British pounds, but they have assets uh, that they're saving, accumulating to pay for those things back in the United States, appreciating in dollars, and there's a mismatch, right? What if the dollar suddenly starts reversing, starts losing value, right? And you've got all your money invested in dollars, and now the British pound is gaining strength against the dollar, where are you gonna be left, or vice versa, right? So we have to make sure that we have a relative match between the currencies with respect to our assets and our liabilities, and that's the way we approach it. So if you are an American in the UK temporarily, and then you're gonna move back to the US, we're probably gonna leave a portfolio that's much more similar to an American who is retiring in the US. But if you're going to be permanently in the UK, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a much more uh, UK or Europe centric portfolio. And what do I mean by that? Well, this slide, um, in this case, we're using the euro, but you could say the same thing about the British pound. What we do is we take a typical portfolio and we show that while our first concern is to make sure that we are fully diversified across all global asset classes, if you're going to uh, be in the eurozone, we're going to use the eurozone, but as I said, uh, comparable to the British uh, uh, pound zone. We're going to make sure um, that you have a large part of your portfolio invested in Eurozone assets, right? And you can see here 54% of this portfolio is in one way or another invested in Euro assets. But because it's going to be still globally diversified and the U.S. is a huge part of the global portfolio, right? it's still going to have a large U.S. dollar component. Now, if you're going to retire in the U.S., you might see these two numbers approximately reversed, right? Because there you're planning for a retirement in the U.S. where you're going to pay for things in U.S. dollars, so you want to have more invested in U.S. dollars. If you're retiring in the U.K. or in the Eurozone, uh, conversely, you want to make sure you've got more investments in those local currencies so that over time, right, as the euro rebounds or the British pound rebounds, you're sure that the value of your investments are keeping up with the cost of living measured in the currency in which you live. And so there's a lot more we can say about this and we have a whole presentation on this, but this is a, v, a key concern. Um, what currency management should not be ever, right, and, and, and this is very counterintuitive to people, is to sit around and say, oh, you know, I, I'm reading the latest headlines and they, they say the dollar's gonna keep going up. Or I'm a dollar, you know, I hear this one a lot too, just the opposite. You know, I, I think the US economy is gonna tank and the US dollar is gonna go into oblivion and it's gonna be, it's just gonna be a downward slide for the next 20 years. So I, I wanna be, in one hand, I wanna get all my money into dollars. Uh, the other one says, I wanna get all my money into pounds or euros or whatever, Swiss franc or whatever they think is gonna be the strong currency. Our answer is you don't want to invest in dollars, you don't want to invest in euros, you don't want to invest in Swiss francs, why? Because all of those things are currency, they are cash, right? And as you can see on this slide, currencies, whether it's dollars or pounds or euros, over this 20 year period, adjusted for inflation, negative returns, right? Currencies are losing value at the rate of inflation and that's true in every country everywhere. Cash is a losing investment. Investing is not about dollars or pounds. It's about stocks. It's about bonds. It's about real estate. It's about even gold. All of these real assets will grow at a rate that adjusts for inflation and exceeds inflation over the long run. So the current conversation is never about should we be investing in dollars or pounds, okay? It should be about are we investing in U.S. stocks or UK stocks, European stocks, and in what proportion? Because those assets are gonna go up over time. And it's not about whether you paid for them in dollars or pounds, it's about what stocks you own.